right, welcome back, Last Quest Barbecue Show. This time we're gonna do a rotisserie chicken with a twist. And uh, what is the twist? The twist is pure local honey right at the end. So, you know, we'll get a nice crispy skin, put it on the rotisserie or on the Crown Verity, we'll get it going. We'll add a little of my favorite uh, cattleman's, which is my favorite spice. And uh, we got a beautiful organic chicken here that just arrived. You know, other than that, it's fairly conventional, but at the very end, I'm gonna crisp it up, put this honey all over it, crank up the heat and really kind of sear that in. This one's for my mom who likes the sweet, doesn't like hot food, doesn't like the piri piri chicken, but loves the sweetness and crispy skin. So let's get started. All right, let's get started on this uh, chicken cook. So as I said, uh, first of all, let's get this uh, chicken out. No big deal here. Nice, fresh, organic chicken. Very nice. Not gonna do too much of it. Oh, it's already, uh, and it's already strung up, which is fantastic. Beautiful looking chicken. Perfect for the rotisserie. So I'm gonna do some very basic stuff. I'm gonna put on some avocado oil. There we go. Dry hand, wet hand. There you go, dry hand, wet hand. <laughs> right. A little, little practice actually. I'm Usually I might do this actually on the rotisserie, but today I'm gonna to do it here for a couple of reasons. It makes for a better demonstration. All right, so then I'm just gonna put some of this, a healthy amount of this Cattleman's Grill Ranchero, which I love it. It is my, right now, current favorite chicken rub. I put it on chicken and turkey. Uh, as I said, that's not all we're putting on here. Let's flip that over. Yeah, I don't salt the chicken or any way. I don't add salt or pepper. I just throw this right on. It's kind of a one and done thing. Let that settle in. If you're wondering, by the way, why all this Canada gear and you know, what's up with that, all that red? Well, I'm recording this during the Olympics. So go Team Canada. Congratulations to everyone over in Beijing for the Olympics. And uh, I'm rocking kind of old school, new school. So the jersey or the sweatshirt is old school HBC from a bunch of years ago, one, I think. And the hat is uh, Lululemon's contribution. All right, that's good. Now I'm also going to put in a meter thermometer. You also remember you gotta put it up into this notch. And we'll put that in, we'll be able to monitor both ambient. Can't use it on the yoder, unfortunately, uh, because once it gets on the yoder, the uh, steel of the yoder is a bit too thick for the meter, but it works great in the Crown Verity. All right, so now we are going to put this onto our spit here. And I wanna center it, because that way I don't want heat, direct heat underneath it. And then there's a flat part of this that I wanna get on. And then we'll tighten it with a pair of pliers as well. Lift it up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's good. We'll push that in nice and secure. We'll get this other latch here as well. Make sure it's going on to the flat part. The bolts are going on to the flat part. And we'll just, there we go. And we'll secure that in as tight as I can go. There we go. And that's just centered. And that's exactly, exactly. All right, let's get this on to the spit, onto the Crown Verity. Okay, we're at the Crown Verity here. Just making a, bit of, making a bit of solid footing for myself amongst the snow. I got the Crown Verity up to about 600 degrees. It's nice and smoking hot. Whew, that's good. Enjoying that heat. That's nice. I've taken this rack out and now let's put in our rotisserie. There we go. And the all important pin that goes into our rotisserie. Gotta work around the snow a little bit here to get everything done. Oh my goodness, that's cold in the feet. All right. There we go. Pin is in. Snow is filled my shoes. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Let's now tighten these up. Because as much as I hand tighten them, look at that. You see the difference there. Perfect. Now, turn this on. So right now we got direct heat under here, which we do not want. So we'll turn that off and we'll turn this one down just a little bit. There we go. I want to cook it about 325 and we'll just let it go. Everything seems secure. All right, there we go. The meter is connected. Very good. So we're all checked. Now this is a Celsius, 37 degrees ambient, two degrees Celsius right now. And the chicken, of course, is cold chicken. I just put it in. Let's keep an eye on it. Next up will be the honey. Okay, our chicken was cooking along. We're, what are we at now? 177. It's an ambient to 336. So I've just turned the temperature up a little bit. 177, you know, we'll call that pretty much close to being done for sure. I mean, 165, you put it in 
I wanted a bit extra heat on it. All right, let's take a look at how that chicken is doing on the spit. Oh, look at that chicken. Amazing. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some honey on it. As I said, I've turned up the heat. So let's just add this bit of honey on that crisp skin, turn the heat up, and then we'll almost be ready. Again, the heat isn't on underneath the bird because I don't want it flaring up and creating those big, ugly, black burns. That doesn't add flavor. So obviously I'm gonna put a nice, generous amount of honey on. Some's dripping off, but a lot is just sticking in. It's gonna be a sticky bird, but that honey is just gonna roast on that bird. All right, now let's leave that for another few minutes. Roast that up at a higher heat, and then get it off and over to my mom's. All right, and we are done. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Crispy, delicious. Let's turn this rotisserie off. There we go. Delicious. Man, smells amazing. So let's uh, loosen up our chicken here. Maybe heat safe gloves. Thank you, uh, Lee Valley Tools. Very handy. I was gonna use my uh, handy welder's gloves, but they're, uh, you know, <laughs> left outside, so. So what you wanna do here, you gotta be super careful, this is super hot. Pull the pin here. There we go. Move this out. Move this to here. Up and out. There we go. Throw that there. And then this should just slide off. There we go. Perfect. I don't want to touch that for too long. That's super hot. That chicken looks pretty amazing. Look at that. And let's get this chicken. There we go. Look at that delicious honey glazed chicken. You can smell the honey. In fact, I might just put a little more honey on it. There we go. Delicious honey glazed chicken.